Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I thought today I'd talk about Botany Bay, which is the beach we visited. I know the weather in London is getting really hot this week, so I know everyone's going to want to maybe escape or go to the seaside. And I just wanted to recount kind of what we saw and what we did today in terms of trying to keep our distance and like where to park and all sorts of useful things. So without further ado, let's go. So the government regulations in London and the UK have lifted a bit. So you're allowed to go visit kind of outdoor spaces as long as you're social distancing and you're not hanging out with people outside of your household, basically. Just for extra precaution, we also made sure to go on a Tuesday, which we thought was a random day. So Graham took a day off. And we decided to be like, this is our day to go see the seaside because we just haven't really left London or left our house in the past few months. So this was just our little treat. So we decided to go on Tuesday, which is today, and we left at 7.30 in the morning to get there for around 9.30. So it's around a two hour drive if you live in London. And I think it's easier if you go from East London, but I'm not sure if that's true. Um, all I know is in terms of timing, we left London at 7.30 to get there around 9.30 so we could beat the crowd and get some parking. So we did that and we made sure to leave around 5 p.m. to come home and there wasn't any traffic coming back and we arrived home around 7.20. So we left at 5, came back 7.20, so it'd be like two and a half hours to come back. So it was quite good. Now in terms of parking, the best thing that we found was that you can park on the street right next to the beach. So the street's like here and you just walk like one minute and you're at the beach. Basically when we pulled up, there was someone outside our house and we were like, hi, I just wanted to know, are we allowed to park here? So we actually spoke to a resident and it is allowed and they're happy for you to park there as long as you don't block their driveway. The street is called Botany Road and obviously just be respectful, like don't block anyone's cars. If you see someone there, ask their permission, be nice. Like it's just so easy to just, you know, be nice to them so they feel like it's okay if you're there and parked up. It's free to park, there are no yellow lines, and it's a nice long road, so there is a lot of space. Um, but yeah, just please be respectful to the locals and the residents and realize like they're living there and just be nice. In terms of accessibility, Botany Bay is like ridiculously easy to get to. So we parked our car and we were walking like maybe two minutes and then you hit like a little sandy car park, which fits about, I wanna say it fits like seven cars. So that's like very, very niche, hard to get to. Don't even think about going to that car park. But you hit that car park and then you walk another like maybe like 20 steps. There's a little ramp that goes down and you're at the beach. So like no long walk, no hike, nothing. It's so accessible. It's perfect for bringing like a huge picnic basket or like umbrella, which is what we did. And yeah, it's just easy. Um, and I think that's why this beach is so popular with like families, because it's just easy to get to if you're carrying your babies or whatever, strollers and all that. In terms of tide times, so the tides are low in the morning and it gets to around high tide or peak time around 1 or 2 p.m., depending on the day. Um, and then it immediately subsides. And even when the tide is at full high tide, you get more than half the beach to kind of sunbathe in. The only thing is, so there's two parts to Botany Bay. There's one part here, which is the main kind of beach with the entrance and the car park and all that stuff. Um, and then you go through the little freestanding rocks. You can go to another part of the beach, which is so much more empty, so much more quiet, but you get trapped there basically until 6 p.m. when the tide is up and it doesn't subside unless you want to swim back with all your stuff. So just keep that in mind. If you want to sunbathe on the kind of quieter side, you want to be there for a long time. Also, I'm not sure if you have access to the bathrooms. And yes, there are bathrooms in Botany Bay even during current time. So this is filmed on 23rd of June and I think they just reopened toilets, which is amazing. And obviously for the girls, like everyone queues kind of social distance, it's great. Facilities wise, they have sink and soap and tissue and it's just great. And there's only two stalls and obviously it's slowly one in one out, social distance. Just try your best to maintain safe practice. And if you can bring your own hand sanitizer or if you really want wet wipes to wipe the seat, even if you're hovering, which is what you should do anyways, but that is kind of how it's at. There are no cafes, no food stalls, nothing. So please bring enough water and food to make sure you're hydrated and safe and just, yeah, you don't want to get heat stroke. So bring lots of water and make sure you stay hydrated and careful. We brought a whole picnic basket, which I love. It's like the best thing I've ever bought, but um, I made like a nice little pesto pasta salad, which I made the night before and it just keeps in the fridge and you can just take it straight with you early morning. So that was like the best thing I made for the beach kind of thing. And then we also brought cake and lots of water and because there is a bathroom, bringing water is completely a great idea. So did it get busy? Yes, it did. 
oh my days. So what happened was we arrived around 9.30 in the morning and it was so calm, barely anyone there. There were maybe like two other groups, three other groups, and then slowly it got busier. And I thought like being here on a Tuesday would be fine. And it was, I'm sure it's way busier in the weekend. So if you can, please try to go on a weekday, try to avoid the crowds. We parked our towels quite near the front of the beach where the tide would eventually cover. So we were away from quite a lot of people, which was good, which suited me. And as soon as the tide kind of lifted, we escaped the whole middle crowd and went way back to the cliffs. Um, so, the whole time I would say we definitely kept a good distance. Um, back and forth to the ocean, I only did it once, so I don't think we were really around people that much, and bathroom I also only used once. So I think try your best to like maintain a social distance. Like We stayed in our own little space and tried not to move around too much and plugged in our headphones and just enjoy the sun and the sea, and it was honestly life-saving to just be out there and just be out of the house for one day. In terms of water, yes, you can swim. It was a little cold, I'm not gonna lie. But honestly, once I got in, it was fine. I've definitely been in colder water in like Italy or Baisha. So honestly, it was beautiful, beautiful water. So good for swimming. And because the tides kind of come up and covered the beach that people were originally lying on, the ground is really soft for you to walk around in and it's quite shallow. So it's just a nice little beach. It's amazing. At the end of the day, if you're looking to escape, London just for a little bit just for some seaside air obviously do it responsibly try to go on off peak days like we did try to go early like we did as well and just yeah just be careful be mindful of everyone do not leave any trash behind and just sanitize be safe and just enjoy the outdoors mental health is just as important as your physical health so you need to get out and just enjoy yourself give yourself a little break as long as you do it responsibly I hope these tips helped and if you do go, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope these tips have helped you if you're going there this week. So yay, take care of yourselves. And if you like this video, please subscribe, comment, and like, and I'll see you guys next time.